Magic beef, magic beef. You know you want it. Take my meat in your mouth. Today, my friends, we're going to be taking a look at a video with absolutely zero broad appeal, meaning the only person or persons interested with this particular video are magicians that may or may not have purchased Switch One by Christian Grace. That's it. No broad appeal, no chance for new subscribers outside of magic. Definitely the type of video that this channel doesn't need. However, I'm here to still make the video. If you are new, however, you should uh, subscribe. It's free. It doesn't harm anyone. And you can look at all my videos. I have many, many videos that you could take a look at and probably be offended and then un unsubscribe. But I'm just, I need them. I need them. Multiracial white supremacy. You like the uh, transition there, right? I thought it added production value to my channel. Uh, but this is the uh, trick we're going to be taking a look at. It's Switch One by Christian Grace. I first saw the, uh, this done on Instagram, and it's a fantastic switch. Let's show you what the actual trick looks like so you kind of have a better idea. There's one card underneath that glass. Mm -hmm. The first time. <laughs> wow. Brilliant. <laughs> When I design magic, I aim to combine the strongest effects with the most practical methods. And that's why we're about to show you a full performance. One single camera shot that will never cut away. Rich, there are 52 cards in a standard deck of cards, all right? Name red or black out loud. Red. All right, so the reds are the hearts and the diamonds. Mm -hmm. So which do you want, hearts or diamonds? Diamonds. Great. So you're down to 13 diamond cards. That's ace through to king. This is the last choice. Just think of which value you want. What do you want? Nine. The nine of diamonds. Yeah. Really think about this. Mm -hmm. There's one card underneath that glass. Mm -hmm. You named red, you named diamonds, you named nine. The first time. <laughs> wow. Switch one features an <laughs> invisible gimmick and a switch that can withstand incredible scrutiny. That's the trick. Very simple, very uh, easy to follow. It's a switch, right? It's 75 bucks. Christian Grace, who's made some other crazy tricks, uh, seems to have made this wonderful switch, right? This wonderful switch. And uh, there is a problem with magicians and this particular switch. And in the interest of transparency, I also had a little bit of the same problem. Now, I first saw this switch done on Instagram where it looked like, for all intents and purposes, the switch was marketed as the gimmick. I know, I know. I'm not as much of a virgin as others to realize that that's not really the case. However, just based on that initial video, I was under the impression that what you were getting was a gimmick that allows you to switch the card or the bill or whatever it is that you want to ring out underneath the actual wine glass. That's not the case, my friends. So I found this post on the Magic subreddit. Believe it or not, one exists. And this post was made by Greg Van 93 where he says the marketing for Switch One is incredibly misleading. The trailer is a lie and the product description is misleading. You cannot perform it the way it looks in the demo. You have some people agreeing, saying, yes, I see this. This is what's taking place. Bait and switch marketing. Somewhat, somewhat. If we look at the actual video itself, there's a time when uh, they mentioned specifically that there's a switch, but at the core, there's a gimmick that allows you to easily retrieve a card. Now, based on the initial videos and for the price, you would assume that there's some sort of uh, gimmick at play that switches the card for you. That's not the case. What you're getting is an index, something that lets you retrieve the card, as well as a tutorial for a very deceptive switch. Now, according to the Magic Reddit, they did change the website description because of the backlash. So apparently because of the issue that magicians had with it, where it wasn't necessarily as uh, upfront as it would be, uh, they changed it. And here is the original one before as captured on the 20th of August uh, 2021, where it talks about uh, the switch and uh, it being uh, not so necessarily clear as to what's actually going to be arriving in your package. So right here, we have the paragraph that might be the one that's in question. It says, that's one of the dazzling effects you get with Switch One. But this is more than a trick. It's a system of ingenious principles working together. 
there is a special gimmick included that makes all sorts of effects possible. Tricks with bills, star sign, drinks, names, and of course, apparently thought of playing cards. The Switch itself is not only invisible, Guy Hollingsworth apparently gives it some accolades. One object melts into another. It's that clean. So here, based on that, you would assume that the gimmick helps with the Switch. Now, if we look at the new version of the actual page itself, it says, once you master the gimmickless sleight of hand switch, your mind will be racing with possibilities. So there they say, hey, this is a sleight of hand method. This isn't a gimmick that switches a card for you. This is something you're going to have to practice. Now, in the original web page, they did have a FAQ section where it does mention, does the switch use a gimmick, right? And it says, no, the switch is pure sleight of hand. So had you scrolled down, you would have seen that information, and that would have given you at least an idea as to what you're getting. However, that's not the case here. Here, it makes it sound like you're going to get a, a gimmick that helps you switch the card, ring it in, and uh, your mind is going to be uh, taken aback by the possibilities with the principles working together. And this thing's right here. You just click on that bad boy, and you're ready to buy Switch 1. So I could understand the issues that magicians had because most of the people aren't going to read this. They're going to see this, they're going to see the trailer, and they're going to go, all right, I'm going to cop it. And for 75 bucks, you would assume that what you're going to get is something that helps with the Switch. Now, when I first saw the Instagram post of the actual trailer for the video, I thought it was a gimmick. I thought it was a gimmick. It made it seem like what you're getting was something that helped you switch whatever that object was in the hands. That's what it made it seem like. What you're getting is a, a switch that involves sleight of hand, which I understand. It's fine. But for 75 bucks, I do understand why people may have misconstrued that. And I do understand a little bit of the hate for this particular trick. Now, the uh, gimmick itself is very well made from my understanding. The actual index system, the switch is tremendous. It looks like one object is turning to another. It's beautiful. It's uh, brilliant, imperceptive. I don't have a problem with that, and I think the trick is tremendous. And uh, Christian Grace is a very creative magician, and he's put out some uh, very creative stuff, so I understand that. But I do get I do get a little bit of the hate. Now, my friends, this is where we get to the magic beef. This is where we get to where I thrive. This is what I live for. Now, obviously, every product has a review section, right? It's 2021. Your product is going to have a review section. Now, what differentiates penguinmagic.com from other websites is that they have a comment section where people could respond to the reviews. Whoa, tremendous idea and wonderful for people like me that are looking for the beef in my mouth. Sorry, I meant mouth, not mouth. I've been watching too many Jabrizi videos and it seems like uh, I might be having to ask myself some questions as to how to improve my dictation. So here is the review that I saw that really, really made me have a great time over the weekend. It says, I purchased Switch 1 from another retailer. I'm sorry, but I'm so incensed with the magic gulf between what I was expecting and what I actually got. I feel, frankly, deceived, and I need to share my experiences, yada, yada, yada. The promo videos would have you believe that you're purchasing a device that helps you accomplish a visual transposition in the front of the spectator. I agree. That's what I thought initially. That's not what you're getting. The technique is a basic technique available in magic books. I don't agree. I think it's a, it's a different switch. You're getting a different switch by uh, Christian Grace. Uh, heck, I'm going to say it because you need to know what you're paying for. It's a wallet, which is an index. You're paying for an index system, as I mentioned earlier. It's a damn wallet. It does none of the work for you. It's just a filing cabinet for your pocket. You're paying $75 for a wallet. Did you ever see a wallet in the unbroken performance? Ever see a gesture to pocket? I mean, that's how it's taught. I get it, right? He's upset. He got something that he wasn't expecting. I completely understand his point and why he might be upset. Now, granted, obviously what you're getting is an index and a beautiful switch. So you are getting something. It's not like you're getting completely scammed. However, I do understand that maybe he would have been deceived by the marketing, right? My friends, here's where it gets saucy. We click on the comment section here and hope that my internet is uh, sufficiently quick enough to load the page in less than 45 minutes. I'm gonna click it again, and if it doesn't uh, happen to switch, <laughs> all right, thank God. You guys might have seen my 14th reason why. So we have a lot of magicians that are agreeing with the point. Take it from me, this review is spot on. I was fooled and it's $75 in the hole. I wouldn't agree with that point. I don't think it's a waste of money. I think it is a, a great product, but the marketing was a little bit 
uh, deceptive to begin with. And we have a couple of things. My friends, here's where it gets hot. We scroll through and we find a comment by Magic Mark 52. We already know the problem that I have with people that put 52 at the end of their usernames, but that's another video entirely. Magic Mark says, this is for the original reviewer. Quit magic. You don't understand magic. You don't understand what you have in your possession. You don't even know how ridiculous you sound. You're a lazy, bad magician. And if you see me in a convention, tell me it's you. So I could tell you to your face, Mark Calabrese, Mark Calabrese. My friends, an indirect sounding threat. It sounds a little bit iffy there. It sounds like maybe you're saying, hey, man, come at me at a magic convention. And uh, you know what? I'm going to tell you that you're a bad magician to your face. Now, my friends, I've been at the center of magic beef at conventions before. And let me tell you exactly how it goes. This, of course, would be online. Let me uh, establish that beforehand. This is online. Hey, man, if I see you in a magic convention, I'm going to fuck you up. I can't wait to see you at that magic convention because I'm going to kill you. You better hope that we don't cross because, oh boy, are you going to get so dead. Bitch, bitch, bitch. Oh, yeah? Yeah, bitch? Well, you know what? I hope that you don't see me see you at a magic convention because I'm going to murder you. That's right. I'm going to have your uh, kids be with no, no father because of my killing in person. This is what happens when they meet in person at the magic convention. Hey, man, what's up, man? No, nah, man, dude, it's just online, man. You know how things are. It's just things happen online. We talk online and, you know, I get it. But bygones be bygones. Uh, water under the bridge. Yeah, man, it's cool, man. It's, it's totally cool, man. You want me to uh, show you a card trick or something? Yeah, man. Yeah, show me a card trick. And then they have sex. That's how beef takes place at magic conventions. Take it from a guy who's seen magic beef at magic conventions, my friends. Now, here's my favorite response on the part of Magic Mark 52, where Magic Patosh 22, whoa, -ho, took off 30 there. This guy's a real breadwinner. He says, Mark, you're a bully. And if I see you at a convention, I will come and tell it to your face. Unbelievable. The guy's allowed to share a review, and many people seem to agree with him. Patrick Torres. And of course, Magic Mark shaking at the anticipation of waiting for Patrick Torres to reach out to him at a Magic convention and tell him, hey, man, I'm Patrick Torres. Magic Mark says, Patrick Torres, I can't wait. Now, we do have a lot of back and forth here between other accounts. Magic Mark comes in, Patrick Torres comes out. And there's a lot of stuff here. Magic Mark says people are idiots. There's a lot of stuff here. But that's where I end. That's my dealing with the beef because I'm satisfied sexually. Could you imagine how that would go? Let's say Mark Calabri is there sitting down cutting cards. And then some guy pokes him on his shoulder and goes, hey, bud, what's up, man? Big fan. And he goes, oh, man, that's, that's cool. That's what's up. And then he goes, yeah, my name's Patrick Torres. And then Mark's supposed to stand up and go, oh, shit. Dude, your opinion on a review that somebody wrote on a website about a trick is fucking wrong. What? What? That's not going to fucking happen. None of this is going to happen. At its core, all we have is a little bit of a weirdness when it comes to a product. That's it. The product is otherwise great. The wallet is very well made. The switch is very deceptive. It's beautiful. It's invisible. Uh, Christian Grace, again, another very, very talented magician comes up with a trick. It is a little bit pricey for what you're getting, but I do understand a little bit of the beef against it, right? I understand a little bit of the uh, kerfluffles that magicians may have with the actual product as far as the marketing itself. That's where I stand for this. But what I'm waiting for, my friends, is that I have my ticket ready. I don't care about the trick and all the issues with it. I care about one thing. And that is Magic Mark versus Patrick Torres. I want a front row seat, whether it takes place in whatever convention, Magic Live, uh, the one in fucking England where everybody uh, takes beans and dows themselves in uh, toast and fucking whatever you guys put on beans, you gross, negligent idiots. Or Magi Fest, where the only things to do are hookers and, and meth. I want to see this. I want to see this beef. Magic Mark. Patrick Torres, Mark Calabrese, uh, and 
Let's see if I could find his name in a quick and efficient fashion in order to get my point across here. Um, Magic Patosh 22, I want to see it go down. I want to see it go down. But that's the video, my friends. Let me know what you think of this particular product in the comment section below. I know there might be some issues back and forth, some problems. Some magicians might not have any issues whatsoever. And that's perfectly fine. That's acceptable. Why? Because we live in the United States of America, the greatest country of all time. So keep that in mind when you're putting uh, beans on toast. Disgusting. As usual, I recommend for you to check out the Pig Cake Magic Academy. Right, check it out. So I didn't have an ad break here for it during the video, but I'm telling you at the end to check it out. Rave reviews all around, my friends. Fun, fun, fun. I think that's uh, all I have for you guys today. Usually I like to give a little bit of advice on the uh, end of these videos just to make sure that I'm bettering you, not as a magician, but as a person. And uh, let's see what I could tell you. Well, I just made an appointment for the doctor because I have a hernia potentially. And uh, I've realized that uh, referrals are key. You need to have uh, insurance that uh, has referrals, doesn't need referrals, right? So you don't necessarily have to go through a bunch of people in order to see someone. And uh, I made that mistake because I skimped on that. And now I have to go to a primary care dude before I actually get to see a doctor or somebody about specifically what's going on with me. Fun times for everyone, guys. Fun, fun times. I can't wait to find out that it's literally a, 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 a magic tumor that has grown because of the stress and uh, rigor of being a full-time uh, magician online. Uh, so excited.